guys welcome back to my channel hi today i'm gonna go ahead and play with some makeup i actually have two products that i kind of want to test out um one of them is the new bronzer from charlotte Tilbury. this is huge like my face is pretty big i mean it's like the, my whole hands so this this is huge it's a little bit pricey but it's so big like this is gonna last forever and i've never tested any of jeffree star's cosmetics lip gloss so i have this one right here and then this is in shade candy drip so i'm gonna go ahead and test these two products but everything else that i'm using today i have already used i'm just you know since i'm gonna use these two things i'm like mm, i can't just use a bronzer and a gloss maybe i could but you know, since I'm going to sit down and kind of just review those two products, I'm like, why not just, you know, get the full face done and ready to go. So if you want to see what look I come up with, then keep on watching. First, let's go ahead and prime the lid. I don't know. I'm in like an excited mood today. I'm not sure why. Because it's actually night. I have no idea why I have so much energy, which is not good because that means I'm going to be up all night, all night. I'm going to go ahead and put on my guard. I'm like obsessed with these because these are so good that it helps, you know, most of the time when you try, depending on the look that you're trying to achieve, it's so good. And you can use tape to do this, but I buy these from e.l.f. and I get them in a pack and then you cut them in two and they last forever. So great. It's a little bit tricky because, again, my eyes, they're not the same shape, so it's fine. Oh, I'm trying to find a base. I'm actually going to use my Pillow with Base. I always use those. Um, however, I'm going to use 0 0.5, which is pretty light. But the color I'm going to use, I really want it to pop. So I have to go in with a light shade. And that's what you want to do if you want your eyeshadow to really pop then go in with a light base and if you just you know don't really care then you can go in with a darker shade usually i use three three is like my skin tone but that's the shade i usually use mm, no i can't find my brush I have another one which is just a clean one and then this is a G38 this is actually a concealer brush from Morphe and unfortunately they discontinue that but all their concealer brush kind of have that dome kind of finish so it's it's pretty much their concealer brush I hate when it just discontinues something that's good I have a few of these because when I get something that I like I always buy backups but when I throw these away, no more. Trying some new lighting again. I feel like that's all I'm doing lately is just testing out new lighting, see what works, see what doesn't work. I feel like lighting is pretty hard to kind of, you know, master. Especially when you're a new YouTuber, but it's fine. I'll get it going. What about if I just leave this like this? You know, I don't know, like white shadow, maybe. That maybe will crease like crazy though. However, this helps my eyeshadow don't crease, but I feel like if I leave it like this, it will crease. Let me go in with an R37 from Morphe. And I'm gonna just, I'm actually gonna use this palette from Melt. This is the Vita palette, and this is the other part of the Moeta. Moeta. I don't know. I can't speak Spanish. I'm terrible. I can't roll my arms, but this is Vita. And I'm gonna go in. I I hate greens to be honest with you, but lately, I don't know. I've been doing a lot of green looks. So we'll see. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This color. And I'm gonna put that all over my lid. This is pretty. It looks like you would have to build this shade up. It's been kind of interesting. Like, most people won't wear bright eyeshadow looks. However, 
those are the looks that do, that does the best on my channel so i'm not i don't know it's it's weird so when i do bright looks those videos get more views than when i do kind of like toned down everyday looks but then most people are like oh my god this is so bright i won't wear that but those are the looks they want to see so maybe they, maybe they just like to see it or maybe you guys just like to see it you know on somebody else but not on you i don't know i don't know see i kind of have to build this up so that it kind of shows up but i'm also just like putting just a little bit on my brush because i want to make sure that she just kind of get blends out and there's no patchiness not that these eyeshadows are patchy these eyeshadows are actually pretty good i'm gonna go back with that and just gonna tap my lid make sure there's no creases and back to the shade this shade actually has a name i don't know papel picado i don't know i don't know if that's what you how you say that word i am like the worst in pronouncing spanish words when i put out the first palettes the or the first part of this i butchered the name it was funny and i got called out on that but it's cool i don't mind learning no things and no ways to say things since clearly i don't know how to say it so i'm bringing this a little bit down not too much i need to do the same thing here no i'm actually gonna go to an uh not a morphe brush and then this one is an m506 m506 is my favorite brush from morphe my favorite let's go with this color right here this is actually a brown and it is called chocolate why you know what wasn't all the names like this you know easy that i can you know just pronounce i'm just gonna tap that in my outer v I feel like looks like this just works perfect on my eye shape so i do this a lot because it works it's not broken don't fix it i don't know i just feel like it works for me see i have very little fallout which is pretty good i'm gonna go back to this brush which is the r37 which i use with that first green color or that green color because i've only used one green color and i'm just gonna go back in and just kind of blend the edges and that's when all the blending comes in the blending 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 because i want to make sure there's no sharp edges every time i record that's you know when everybody want to make all these noises outside i'm here all day perfectly quiet and then in the night that's kind of when everybody want to make the most noise. Shouldn't it be quiet in the night so I can record? Okay, so I'm going to actually move to a different palette because there's something I want to do. I'm actually going to use this brush. This is just a, this is actually an eyebrow brush from Beauty Bakery. But I kind of flatten it up by like gluing it with eyelash glue and concealer which makes it like really really flat which makes it perfect for cutting the crease i'm actually gonna use 03 to cut my crease because i don't need it to be super light because the shimmer i'm gonna use it's like amazing so That's my funny dance for today. I'm actually trying to find a flat head brush. Actually, I found one, and this is a T48 from Makeup Shack. I just have a few of these, and these are from this. I think she's like a black owned makeup company, and I think these are called JD Glow. I'm a job. I'm I'm gonna double check yes 
it's jerry glow and this shade is chartreuse and it looks like so which is gonna be perfect for what i'm gonna try to do today and i don't have to wet those because they don't come to play usually i have to wet my brush for for some company like antipat no wetting and those are so good these are from jd gold these are good i don't have to wet my brush i just kind of go right in with that and see how much of this get picked up on the brush every time i'm doing like kind of my inner corner or the inner part of my eye i'm like i hold the brush like all the way here i don't know why i do that. maybe i just need baby brushes for these for doing that part of my eye And I'm gonna go back to the M506 that I use in my beta palettes. I think I'm gonna need this again, we'll see. But let's go back to the beta palettes and I'm gonna go back to the, uh, let me see the dark brown color maybe. Cause I want everything to just kind of blend nicely. Mm, I feel like I need a little bit more brown. Just a little bit more chocolates. Perfect. I actually haven't winged my liner in a second. So let's go ahead and do that today. I hate those. I hate winging because I'm terrible at it. But we know, we'll see. I'm actually using my Kaja eyeliner. This is good. This is as good as the wing gets. And let's go ahead and clean up the fallout. I actually don't have that much fallout today, which is pretty good. I don't know, like I'm just in the dancing mood today. Who knows what's going on? I'm actually gonna use this Morphe 124. It's actually an M124. And I feel like I need a little bit of shine, like right here. And to moisturize my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Super Firming Cream from Shireen Beauty. It kind of bonks my head like right here today. It kind of hurts. I'm actually gonna use this powder right here this is actually this is um, just a translucent powder and this one is actually from dermacol i think i got this on amazon and i'm just gonna go ahead and use a large fluffy powder brush from kenzie this method makes your foundation like last forever well, all day. I don't know if you want your foundation to last forever, but if you're going somewhere and you're gonna be gone all day, I feel like this is a good method to make your foundation last all day. Normally, after I put my moisturizer, I would put on a sunscreen. But I'm not really going anywhere right now. It's a little bit late, so there's no need for sunscreen tonight. But normally, you have to wear sunscreen. Like, it's amazing. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use my resting boss face from Huda Beauty, and this is just a extra holds setting spray. I really don't like the spray because I don't like the smell. It's so strong. Whew. And then I can't breathe when I'm done with this. Don't like this. I'm actually gonna put something else because I barely sprayed the other one because I couldn't breathe. And this is from Beauty Bakery. So much better. Whew. This spray, I, I don't like cans. For my setting spray, I prefer like a bottle. I don't know why, I don't, it's just, 
I can still smell the Huda Beauty Spray. It's so strong. And you dry that up or you wait for it to dry before you put on your foundation. Because that'd be a mess. And for my primer, I'm gonna go ahead and use this all in one Insta Blur from the Body Shop. I actually don't really like this. It makes like you can tell kind of bubbles up. It's like the end product is really good, but I don't know. I don't like what it does on my skin. Look. You know, a little pimple right here. Oh my god. I'm like, why do you always come when I'm recording? It does help though with the pores. Pores look good, pores look good, pores look good. I'm actually gonna use my luminous lumina, luminous silk foundation from Amani. Favorite foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and use my number seven artist brush and this is from the black line. I love these, these are so good. Let me hide, you know, my brush trap. Cause I'm all wearing, you know, a brown bra on the black top. Although it doesn't matter anymore. Back in the day, you couldn't really do that, but it's it's fine now. I love these brushes because I feel like it just kind of you just if you hold it like this, you can just go around your brow, especially for people like me that do my brow first. And I do my brow first because I do my eyeshadow before I do my base because if I don't do that, then I have a mess. And I don't like to do my eyeshadow without my brows being done because then I feel like when I do my brow it kind of just gauge on how far up I can go with the shadow so there's a method to the crazy I'm actually gonna use this is from the Urban Decay Basics line and it's just like a dual end brush this one has a fluffier um, brush which I'm gonna use for my connector and I'm using this from this shade from um, Charlotte Tilbury and this is a number three which is ten dollars. I always say I don't I'm not gonna put too much and then I always put a lot. I don't really conceal the rest of my face, but under oh no, my eye, girl, we need this. And then I'm gonna take actually this is just a this is actually kind of dirty, but it's fine. I'm going to use this part of it and I'm just going to stamp it. I feel like I want to try a concealer that I haven't really used for a minute. Because I get tons of concealer, but I'm like, I'm just going to stick to my JSC concealer. Actually, let's try this. Uh, I don't know. My husband is gonna hate this. <laughs> let me let me just stick with my double wear from Estee Lauder. Let's just do that and get with it. I do not like my concealer this light. Oh my god. This is medium. I feel like this is like fear. I might go on with something a little bit darker let's see let's see how that blends out i'm gonna use my beauty blender and let's just go ahead and blend this out okay when it blends out it's not too bad let's let's see let's continue blending this out and i'll see if i need to go with something a little bit darker this is actually a number 16 brush from nyx and this is a, this is not even a concealer brush which is fine it's actually a blending brush, but I feel like I need a brush for this part. Feel like this is already creasing, which means it's not good. So that explains why I don't really use this concealer. I'm gonna go in with my JSC, you know, to save the day. I'm gonna put just a little bit. 
trying to save this because I don't want to take this off. Oh, it's a little bit better, but I feel like before I put on the jersey, the damage was already done. <laughs> it's so crazy. And I know it's not the jersey one because I use that concealer all the time. It's my Holy Grail concealer. And to set my concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and use my flower powder from Beauty Bakery. We need to go in quick and heavy. I'm gonna go in a little bit heavier and I'm gonna leave this here while I do my lower lash line, just in case if we have any fallout. Just thinking back on it, I don't use this concealer. I can rarely use it. To set my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finish Powder in number two, medium. And to apply that, I'm using my 734 brush from Luxie. And for mascara, I'm gonna go ahead, I don't know why I say mascara like that. I'm gonna use my Bad Girl Bang from Benefits. Great, I love this. It semi helps my lashes. And I'm gonna use my favorite lash, which is here, which is Dubai from Makeup Shack. And I'm gonna use my Kiss Lash Glue. I'm gonna put that to on the side for a second. And put that here like so. While we're waiting for this to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and use this eyeliner from Melt and this is in, what shade was this? I'm gonna use 420 from Melt before we were really interrupted and my camera stopped recording. I'm gonna use that for my waterline. But before we go into the waterline, man, I love this green. I'm gonna go ahead and just gonna do my lower lashes or my lower lash line, lower lash line. And for that, let's use a Morphe M408. And let's go back to that palette, which is the Vita. Let's do the brown first and then we'll blend it out. Tap, cause we don't wanna fall out. I know it looks a little bit harsh, but we'll blend it out. I'm getting a little bit of fallout, but we put our powder there, so we're good. And let's go in with this, which is the eyeliner from Melt, and that's in the shade 420. I'm gonna put that in my waterline. And I'm at, I actually need an M506. I feel like that's perfect to kind of just blow everything out. And I'm gonna go back to the first color that I use all over my lid, which is this color right here. Voila, voila. Let's close this down right here. See, so the second color. And I'm gonna use that to blow out my lower lashes, my lower lash line. Let's use the my just this is just my powder brush and let's just dust this off. I feel like my lashes are ready to go. And this is from Below Lashes. I, I love this because I can't put my lashes on without it. I'm gonna leave this like so and let's bring some color to the face as soon as I can find that bronzer. So, I'm, as I said earlier on, I'm gonna use this bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury and then this is in number three. I feel like I should have gotten two as well, maybe, I don't know. Oh, and to apply this, I'm just using an E4 from Morphe. This is very pretty. Man, this blends like seamlessly, it's so good. And it seems like it's a lot, but we'll fix it. Like, 
I like to go a little bit heavier, you know, when the face is so light. Let's use this. This is actually from Patrick Ta. This is a blush and this is, she's adorable. She show is. And I'm just using a Laura Mercier Duo Fiber brush. I have to build this up a little bit. I'm actually not a huge blush person. You gotta wear blush, I guess. I don't know. I just, I have them, so what? Let's go ahead and use. I'm gonna use this. Um, this is just the ABH and Nicole Guerrero collab, the glow kit. Um, I'm gonna mix these two shades right here. I'm gonna mix Go Getter and 143. And for that, I'm using a 737 from Loxy. Yeah, let's um stop. I'm gonna pinch my lashes together a little bit. Let's open up Candy Drip from JSC. Like this content, this unicorn is huge. Ooh, this is pink. This is kind of, this is actually fine, but I'm gonna line my lip a little bit. I'm gonna use Plum from MAC Lip Pencil. That just makes it just a little, not so light. And let's go back the gloss and let's just add a little bit this feels really good though so my lips are plump love it however i don't know what this eye is doing there's always one eye that's just i don't know what it's doing i'm actually gonna use this to just kind of this is just a sponge from real technique And let's go back to my powder brush. Let's just. I almost, almost took that um, Huda Beauty setting powder again. No, we're not doing that. But I do need something for my inner corner. What should we put here? What should we put here? I'm gonna put a little bit of the Royalty by Juvia's Place. It's actually a loose highlighter. But I feel like I'm gonna put a little bit of that in my inner corner. I'm gonna use, just kind of wet my brush a little bit on my wipe that I was using. Mm. This is not giving me the pop that I wanted. Yeah, let's use Never Ready. It's another loose highlighter. And I'm thinking this one should work. Let's cover that. And I have to go back to this eye. Oh my God, I hate it when it does that. This eye right here is like watery, like right here. So I'm gonna go back to this brush, which is the M508. And that's it. That's it. Let's set everything together. I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter. And here is the final look. I actually really, really like how this green turned out. Um, this bomb. Love it love 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 this um it is again charlotte Marie. her stuff is kind of you know a little bit pricey but this is huge like you will have this for like forever this is so big i don't really see me finishing this before it expires it takes like my whole hands so this is like i recommend this and if i could find it that lip gloss from jsc is so good like 
I feel like it even plump my lip a little bit. I don't know if this is supposed to be plump your lips, but I feel like my lips are plump, which I love. And if you're a little bit, I feel like you might need to put like just a little liner. I just, you know, not something too dark, just a little liner to give you some definition. Or I feel like this would be really good as a lip topper. But I'm gonna pick up a couple more of these because I love this. And, and they're so cute. Like this little, he puts so much detail in his designing his um, products. I love this. It just looks, you know, so pretty. And that is it, guys, for this video. And have a good evening. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.